Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over some chat GPT-4 best practices or just otherwise known as tips and tricks. I don't have a lot of them for you, but the reason why I only have a few is because that's really all you're going to need to get yourself through and get the best possible output. So first and foremost, the, the first tip or trick or best practice I want to give to you is always know what you want going into it. The specificity is going to be key. You can be very broad when it comes to giving a prompt and you can give a little bit more nuance, more details, more specifics, and it's going to be like night and day. There's a phrase that I always use, not just with chat GPT, but a lot of different AI software tools because I review a lot of them. It's the quality of the input is just about almost always directly related to the quality of the output. That's why when I see people putting in stuff and saying they got bad output. I'm always scratching my head and wondering what they are giving the software or the tool, right? So here's going to be the first example. Write me an introduction to an article called Is Affiliate Marketing Dead? So this is going to take a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is pause it. And when I'm done, I will come back and I will talk about this. All right, so in today's fast-paced digital landscape, the quest for effective marketing strategies remains a top priority for business worldwide. Among these strategies, affiliate marketing has long been a popular choice, harnessing the power of partnerships and referral-based income. However, as the online ecosystem continues to evolve, some have begun to question the viability and effectiveness of affiliate marketing. Is this one's thriving channel on the verge of extinction? And this article will dive into it and so on and so forth. So is it dead? You know, keep reading on. So not bad. This is good content, but that might not be the angle that you want, okay? And this is why I'm doing this example for specificity. So, I all right, so I pasted in the other prompt. As you can see, we have our same introduction, but I added more context, which is gonna give you a much better answer based upon what you want. I said, here's the context for this introduction. Affiliate marketing is not dead, so you're giving it an answer so it knows where you are in terms of writing this and jokingly make fun of the people who always think online marketing tactics are dead or dying. I don't know about you, but I see it all the time. It's hilarious. So that's the angle we're gonna be coming from. And you'll notice this is much more broad. This is much more specific. The quality of the input is equal to the quality of the output. Let's hit enter and I will be back in a few seconds. All right, so like pretty much right off the bat, you're going to see the difference in the tone. Like if you're reading this, you can tell it's just completely different point of view. And you can tell like there's a lot of joking around and like kind of poking and prodding at the naysayers. But let's read this. Affiliate marketing is dead, or at least that's what the naysayers would have you believe. In the ever-changing world of digital marketing, it seemed that there's always a fresh batch of doomsayers prophesying the demise of various online tactics. That's quite the sentence. Affiliate marketing, it seems, has become the latest target of these apocalyptic predictions. <laughs> but is there any truth to these claims? Or is this simply another case of unwarranted panic? In this article, we'll explore the current state of affiliate marketing, shedding light on its supposed downfall while also poking a bit of fun at the persistent pessimists who believe every marketing tactic has an expiration date. What a great phrase right there. Buckle up and prepare for a wild ride as we debunk the rumors and answer the question, is affiliate marketing truly dead or is it alive and kicking? So do you notice the difference in the like the emotion or like uh, I guess you could say the tone of voice, right? Clearly, this one is all about it's definitely not dead. Like we're poking fun at the people who keep saying everything is and we got exactly what we we're looking for. So once again, knowing exactly what you want, you ought to write an article about this, but you know much more than that. You can give it the context. You can give it the angle or the spin or how you want to come off. You can come off as a little bit sad, right? You can write something with a context like that. You can do it more excited, more jokingly. That's going to be up to you. But once again, this just kind of proves you know what you want going in and be as specific as possible. You will get much more specific results. And I think that you're really going to like that. I have one more tip for you. So let's do a new chat. Okay, so I said, I need help with creating YouTube thumbnails for my channel. I don't. I just put that as an example. <laughs> Give me five tips for creating them, whether I do it or someone else does. So once again, a little bit more context where you want to say, maybe I just want to outsource it. What are five ways I can do that? Or maybe what I want to create them. How can I go about that? Once again, I just want to hit the arrow button here. I'm going to let this load and then I'm going to get to my main point. My last tip is going to be pretend that you're having a conversation with someone one-on-one -on -one, and this person knows everything in the world that there is about this specific topic. For this, let's just say it's thumbnails. So let's just say you get this. Don't be afraid to ask more questions and kind of dive deeper and peel the onion back, so to speak. So if there's something you don't understand, you can always move back a few steps. You can always say, wait, wait, wait. You said when it comes to consistent branding, I need help with my branding, actually. Uh, my channel is this and this. How can I go about doing that? So let's actually do that right now. Let's go with the consistent branding aspect. Say like, hmm, I really like that. I'll write the prompt anyway, then I'll come back. 
All right, so you'll notice how we started off with thumbnails, but now we're taking like a few steps back, which is perfectly fine. You're like, wait, hold up, hold up. You know, you're going too quick here. Let's let's back it up. Like you're like literally having a one-on-one -on -one combo with a coach, right? Or someone that is an expert at this. So let's talk about branding first. My YouTube channel is Marketing Island and I use a lot of blue and green. Please tell me more about how I can use my branding to my advantage for my YouTube channel and thumbnails. Like maybe you're not too familiar with this, but once again, this is just going back to diving deeper and asking more questions and being a little bit more specific too. So once again, I'm gonna hit enter here. I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, so a good amount of content here as always, but talks about being crucial and so on and so forth with color schemes, logo placement, font and typography, uh, channel banner, consistent layout, custom graphics and illustrations, and of course, social media and website integration. I'm not going to go through and read all that, but that's just kind of giving you an idea when it comes to this best practice. All in all, here are going to be the three or two slash three, I guess you can mix them together. So know exactly what you want. Specificity is key. We talked about that when you're going into chat GPT-4, what do you need help with specifically? You know, it's kind of like when you go to write an article, a lot of times all you need is the idea in the beginning. And from there, if you're writing an article, once you have that idea, you can get a title, you can turn that title into an outline, you can turn those outlines into specific paragraphs, intros, conclusions, the body of it, and then go from there. Next is going to be the quality of the input equals the quality of the output. We saw that when we are more specific and you give it more details, you're going to get a more specific and more details in your output. And last but not least, it's going to be pretend that you are having a one-on-one -on -one convo with X. And X is someone who knows a lot about everything that you are looking to get more information about. And don't be afraid to go back and forth. Ask more questions. Take a few steps back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know I want help with thumbnails, but let's talk more about branding. And then you can obviously carry on from there. Any questions that you need answered, don't be afraid to ask them. And that was actually the reason I brought up this video because the previous one, I used a lot of these in terms of like the best practices. And I want to make sure that they were well known, at least to you, because just by knowing these three here, you're going to be good to go. All right. You're going to have all the tools you need. Just make sure you know what to talk about and then go from there. That's about it. I hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.